Hi everyone. So today I thought of picking a very interesting topic that is, uh, sir, educator write the gate exam, so it will affect our gate score, sir. So does it really affect your gate score, or you are just fooling yourself, or just people are fooling yourself? So we will talk about that. Now, first question, sir, why this video at this time? Because you are going to write your gate EC examination, and usually I have seen EC students saying that, sir, X Y Z teacher wrote the examination. That's why we matched up. That's why our gate score matched up. That's why we are not able to get the seat in IIT. So. Do you think you should really blame that educator or you should appreciate him? So we will talk about that and not just like if I am coming on writing pad that that means I will talk, talk with data, not with my mouth. Okay. And secondly, you, you should be having this question, sir, why you are defending it? Are you going to write down the gate examination or Anish sir is going to write down the gate examination? So absolutely no. We both have written down gate examination only once in our life, actually twice because in one year only we wrote two examination, EC and instrumentation. So, only one year we wrote the examination that was gate 2022, our third year attempt. After that, we never wrote gate examination and this year as well, Anish sir have not written neither instrumentation nor electrical and neither I am going to write down EC question paper. Okay. So, I am not defending it, just uh, we are going to write down the examination or not. So, certainly we are not going to write down the examination. If we ever go writing down the examination, as of now there is no plan, If but if we ever go, so we will announce that. Okay. Certainly, we will announce that on YouTube if we ever go. As of now, there is no plan. So, let's talk about the data now that uh, what uh, would have happened if a particular educator would have written down the examination or not. So, this is the gate formula first. This is the gate score formula. We will talk about this formula. Basically, it is here 350 they put, they, here they put 550. This is the marks you get. This is the cutoff. This is the average marks of 0.1% candidate of the examination and then here they subtract for the cutoff. So, I will take the data of gate 2022. So, their EC data I am taking, their number of students were 54k and there did any educator did not write the examination. Here, there was no educator. So, I know him personally, he is AI1, he got 78 marks. I was AI27, 27, I got 68.66 marks. AI54, he was getting around 60 marks. Why I have written AI54? Because I need to take 0.1% of the students. So, that would be 54 only. So, he was getting around 60 marks. My gate score was 895. Okay, and he was AIR1. So, first let's check what do we know? We know marks as well, we know cutoff as well. We don't know the average of 0.1% students. So, that we can check because I have the score that is 895. I know my marks as well that is 68.66. So, I can put in the formula and I will get the value of 69. So, roughly around 69 marks was the average of top 54 students. And that makes sense as well. Why is that so? Because 54, 54, which one will be the in, right in the middle? 27. So, 27 rank is getting roughly around 69 marks only. So, this makes sense as well that you are getting the average of top 0.1% around 69 only. And believe me guys, one more thing I want to add. This was the worst gate score ever in the history of gate EC. Like at rank 27, you are getting a score of 895. And with the, this much, like marks depend on the toughness of question paper. But at rank 27, you are getting 895. This never happened actually. In the previous year, you were getting better score only. Why that is the reason? That is the reason behind this thing. Number of attempts. So, I, I am taking the worst possible scenario here. The worst possible scenario I have tried to pick. Now, I will take another worst possible scenario. That is, in this question paper, let's just say some teacher was there who attempted the question paper and he got 90 marks, which is practically impossible. Okay, in this question paper, 90 marks was practically impossible. If I talk about this particular guy, AIR1, I, I know him personally and he is very down towards person. He is like one of the best AIR1 I have ever seen. So, he has three digit rank in NEET, three digit rank in JE Advance. BTEC from IIT, I am not mentioning the name of IIT. So, BTEC from IIT, he is three digit, three digit rank and he is writing gate examination and getting AI1 and getting 78 marks, then you would know the level of toughness, right? So, again, I am taking the worst possible case. Let's just say in any case, teacher is getting 90 marks, which is not possible. Even if he gets 90 marks, then let's just, let's calculate that how much my score would have been fluctuated. My current score was 895. If by any chance, the educator would have got 90 marks, then how much my score would have been fluctuated that we will talk about. So, what will change? My marks will not change, 25 will not change, 25 will not change. Only thing this average will change. So, let's change the average. What will happen? This guy getting around 60 marks, that guy will be eradicated and 90 marks will come into action because he will be AR1 and he will be AR2. So, 30 marks will be more 
basically in the average 30 marks will be more so previously the average was 69 so now the new average will be like uh, 69 into 54 those many marks were there i hope you know this calculation and he got 30 marks more than this guy that means plus 30 divided by 54 i hope this much calculation you can do you would have studied average in your general aptitude syllabus so this is the this is usually the first question of general aptitude syllabus that mistakenly we wrote down uh, that marks uh, instead of that marks so these kind of calculation you can do so 69 into 54 69 into 54 plus 30 divided by 54 you are getting the average to be 69.56 i am getting the average to be 69.56 so let's check what will be my new score so what would have been my new score 350 plus 550 68.66 minus 25 divided by 69.56 minus 25 so let me do this calculation minus 25 reciprocal into 68.66 minus 25 into 550 plus 350 so my new score is coming out to be 889 roughly around 889 so from 895 to i am going to 889 my score is reducing by 6 in a very unrealistic scenario Along with that, the number of attempts are pretty less. This year, the number of attempts will be more than this. And again, this is also a very unrealistic scenario. Even if the best educator, even if a professor of IIT goes to write down this examination, he will not be able to get 90 marks. That I can tell you. Because like professor uh, would not be teaching all the subjects, no? Like here, all 10 subjects would be coming. So I am not disrespecting any professor of IIT. Like they have like... 15 times more no no knowledge than us, even 20 times, even 100 times they are having more knowledge than us, but it's about 10 subjects. That's why I said that even an IIT professor will not be able to get 90 marks because it's about 10 subjects. So all the 10 subjects would be coming there. So this is very unrealistic scenario because here I am talking about rank 1 already, you know him. So that's the thing. And even in, in the worst case, possible case scenario, my score is getting reduced by only 6. So what do you think, how many opportunities I am losing on? by only getting less uh, 6 score now you would be saying that sir this is one of this is in the top score so what will happen to the lower guy lower guy will have will reduce their marks uh, lesser let's talk about a guy having gate score of 600 he is having a gate score of 600 so how much marks he would have scored that i don't know but he would have scored 45 marks by this calculation i can get to know if someone has scored 45 marks that means his score was 600 now let's just say someone some rank 1 got 90 marks. If some rank 1 got 90 marks, then what would have been his new gate score? Let's check that out. So, what was our new average? Our new average was 69.56. So, let's put that here. 69.56. So, let's put that here and let's do the calculation. 69.5554 minus 25 reciprocal into 20 into 550 plus 350. 597 from 600 to 597 in three gate score let me know how much opportunities opportunities he is losing and just as the gate score goes lower the difference will be more lower this difference will be more lower which difference i am talking about this difference just as it keeps on going lower it will be lower only so even if educator is writing the gate examination we are not writing it i am not defending just because we are writing or anything like that we are not writing it i can swear it on my channel okay we are not writing gate examination this year but uh, why i am defending the point is you should not be demotivated even if some teacher is going to write down the examination there is no one who can ruin your career it's you who can ruin your own career it's you who can make your own career so like j just yesterday only i received some message from a student that uh, some teacher would write the examination now what will happen nothing will happen if your preparation is not up to the mark then we are not going to get anything if it is up to the mark if you have prepared enough if you have confidence in yourself if you do well if everything goes well then certainly no matter whoever writes the examination if god comes on earth even if he writes the examination then you are not going to mess up the given chances that you are going to have okay your deserved chances will never be going anywhere 
So yeah, this is just the analysis I wanted to give and a lot of teachers also say the same thing that please stop writing the examination, please don't play with the future of students. So no one is playing with the future of students. Why you want educators not to write down the examination? The reason is because they will get the reach and it is fine. According to me, it is fine because the teacher who is going to, going to write down the examination, he has done a lot of hard work. Like having command on 10 subjects and then going to write down the examination and then getting AIR1, not a piece of cake. If some educator says so that uh, he is playing with the future of student, he is playing with the career of student, then just tell to that, just tell to that educator that go and write down the examination. Okay. If that educator was having enough confidence of going in the examination and writing down and getting AIR1, then he would have surely gone for it. Okay. And like not in their 30s or 35 is but certainly in the younger days they would have certainly gone for it okay that's some harsh word that i am telling so as a student what you can get from this uh, what kind of motivation you can get from this particular video is that no matter who you write the examination your gate score will be depending on your hard work and secondly it will be depending on the number of students okay if this data is higher if this data is higher then they will take the number of here they will take more numbers no let's just say 80k student write down the examination so they will they will have to take take the data of first 80 student and the average of first 80 student will be certainly lower so this average marks that we are getting here 69 that will be lower if that is lower that means you will get more get score so it depends more on these numbers that who are going to write down how many people are going to write down the gate examination if number of people are more then your gate score will be better the level of 2021 examination was easier than 2022. I am not saying that paper was easy. This was paper was also tough. This paper was also tough. Here, educator wrote the examination. In this 2021 year, educator wrote the examination. Here, educator did not write the, write the examination. Here, the rank 1 was a student. Here, gate score was worse than this year. In 2021, people were getting better gate score. In 2022, they get a bad gate score. Even though there was no teacher. So enough point I have given, enough data I have given and that proves my point that even if the teacher is writing the gate examination, he is not going to affect your career. Okay. So have confidence on yourself. You are going to do well on the day of examination, no matter whatever happens. You have prepared enough. You have given your one year, one year of hard work in the preparation. You are certainly going to do very well in the examination. And uh, whatever that I am bringing on the channel, I, am, I will try to bring more and more content. We have covered. Uh, Transmission line, like those, those guys who have never studied transmission line, they can also watch those topics. We are covering most amplifier also. We have covered those who have never watched studied most amplifier. They can also watch that. Open part in you would require a decent idea of negative feedback. So if you have that decent idea of negative feedback, then I have covered a positive feedback part because that is a more complex part. Negative feedback is easier. So that part also we can cover. We have brought a polar plot, body plot, those frequency response from control systems we have brought. FIQ series we have brought. There are a lot of more than 400 questions are there. So keep on preparing. You have the days left. Whatever that we are going to bring, we are we will try to bring more and more content. Okay then? Yeah. Thank you very much.